exploring the secrets of the continental climate. Hey there, nature lovers! Welcome to another exciting episode of Plain Tick, where we dive into the wonders of our planet. Today, we're embarking on a thrilling journey to uncover the mysteries of the continental climate. The heartlands of the north. Picture this, endless plains stretching as far as the eye can see, with golden wheat fields swaying in the gentle breeze. These are the bread baskets of the world, feeding millions of people across the globe. Continental climates are also home to some of the largest countries and most vibrant cities on Earth. So, what exactly is a continental climate? It's all about location. These areas are nestled in the middle latitudes of the northern continents, far from the soothing influence of the oceans. They're sandwiched between the bone-chilling Arctic cold to the north and the sun-baked deserts and humid plains to the south. A variety of climates and temperature. Now, when we look at the Köppen climate classification, things might seem a bit overwhelming at first. There are six different continental climates, each with its own unique characteristics based on rainfall patterns and temperatures. But don't worry, we'll break it down for you. In the continental climate, it's all about the temperature range. Summers can be hot, with average temperatures soaring above 22 degrees Celsius, or a bit cooler but still warm, staying below that mark. Winters, on the other hand, are always chilly, with average temperatures dipping below minus 3 degrees Celsius. If it doesn't get that cold, then we're dealing with a different climate altogether. The rainfall rhythm. Rainfall plays a crucial role in shaping the continental climate. In some areas, winters are wet and summers are dry, similar to the Mediterranean climate. This pattern is rare and limited to specific regions like the Pacific Northwest and parts of Central Asia. In other places, like Eastern Asia, the rainfall pattern flips, with dry winters and wet summers, thanks to the powerful Asian monsoon. The most widespread continental climate is where rainfall is evenly distributed throughout the year. We have the continental humid hot summer and the continental humid warm summer variants. These two are the superstars of the mid-latitudes, home to the majority of the population centers in the northern continents. The moisture mystery and extreme weather events. You might be wondering, how can these continental interiors support so much life and population if they're so far from the ocean? Well, it's all about location and wind patterns. Being further north reduces evaporation, so plants can thrive with less rain. Plus, wet westerly winds from the Atlantic bring moisture to much of western and central Eurasia, while in North America, the humid south provides the necessary rainfall. Speaking of North America, when that warm southern air collides with the cold, dry Arctic air, things get wild. We're talking about heavy thunderstorms, tornadoes, and hailstorms. It's like nature's version of a crazy party. The Four Seasons One of the most distinctive features of the continental climate is its well-defined four seasons. Winters are cold and snowy, summers are warm and sunny, and spring and autumn have their own unique charm. It's like a never-ending cycle of beauty and change. The Natural Vegetation When it comes to the natural vegetation of the continental climate zones, it's a mix of grasslands and forests. As you move from the semi-arid fringes towards the subarctic north, the landscape transforms from endless grasslands to deciduous woodlands and finally to uniform pine forests. It's a stunning display of nature's adaptability. Agricultural Abundance These vast plains are not just pretty to look at, they're also agricultural powerhouses. In North America, wheat and corn fields stretch as far as the eye can see, while soybeans and barley also make an appearance. Ukraine and southern Russia are similarly dominated by these crops, while Eastern Europe and southern Scandinavia enjoy a greater variety due to their milder climate. The Cities of the Continental Climate Amidst these endless plains, you'll find some of the world's most iconic cities. From the bustling metropolises of North America to the historic gems of Europe and the modern marvels of Asia, the continental climate is home to a diverse array of urban centers, each with its own unique charm and character. And there you have it, the continental climate is a fascinating world of extremes, where nature's beauty and power are on full display. Thanks for joining us on this adventure, and don't forget to like, share, and subscribe for more exciting episodes of Plain Tick.